Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video on comparing the HPI Vorza Flux to the Duratrax 835e buggy. Um, you guys know I purchased both of these kits and um, I have a couple of videos, running videos up, if you want to see these two vehicles in action and running. I wanted to do this video real quick because I know there's been a couple of questions about which one is better and I'll give you guys which one I think is better in my opinion. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Um, I'm not going to too much get into some of the things like radios. They both come with 2.4 gigahertz radios. So the radios are pretty much um, the same specs. They have like analog trim knobs and stuff like that on it and servo reversing. So the radios are, you know, for what these buggies are good enough for me and the kind of running I do. I don't need all the digital stuff and all that put on there. But um, as far as the two buggies go running side by side for speed stock out the box um when we took these out and we ran the two the duratrax was actually faster than the vorza and the vorza had a 17 tooth pinion gear in it and the duratrax had i think it's a 13 stock and i do have a video up of that if you guys want to see those two running together i was a little surprised i thought the vorza would be a little bit faster especially with the higher pinion gear in it but so the Duratrax was faster. Um, now, with the cars in general, as far as width, length, and all that, they're basically the same. Um, the height of them, they basically also sit about the same. The voice is probably sitting just a little bit lower, if you can see there. Um, Handling-wise, um, again, it goes to the Duratrax. When we were out driving them, the Duratrax did handle a lot better and i know some of the tread is worn down on these but even with tread we were still flipping the vorza over which was kind of interesting that <clears throat> we could flip a buggy like this even on 4s just in grass so jumping the cars are about the same um weight wise of course the vorza is heavier but that's also due to the thicker chassis that the vorza has um try to get this up and probably see it and i do have a the guard stuff in there but um, as far as durability, um, neither car broke for the door tracks when I was driving it the first time. One of these screws right underneath in there for the steering knuckles came out and that was a little disappointing, but I went ahead and put that back in there and put some Loctite on and I haven't had any problems since. I know a lot of people have had that issue or had those come out. So I do recommend if you do get this to Loctite, um, put some blue Loctite on the screws and go ahead and screw those. It's the screws that's right up in there where my thumb is at. Um, so I do recommend you do that, but I haven't had any other problems or issues with that. Um, as far as, as some of the shocks, stuff like that, um, the Vorza shocks do look to be constructed a lot better than the Duratrax ones, but I still haven't, like I said, had any problems or issues with any of that stuff on any of the vehicles. If you can look at the wings there, you will see that the Duratrax wing is constructed a little bit different than the Vorza, but it didn't make too much of a difference as far as handling and jumping. They both also jumped well. System-wise, the Vorza comes with the Flux system, and with that, you can run up to a 6S LiPo, which is great, actually. Um, it increases the speed of it, and it can actually handle that type of power and speed which is good, um, which would make for a great speed run car. Whereas with the Duratrax, it is limited to a 4S LiPo. So if you did want to go to 6S, you'd have to upgrade the system. I'm not too sure if this motor can handle that. But let me take these pins off real quick and show you guys what this looks like on the inside, both of these being compared. Hopefully you can see the comparisons in those two. Constructed somewhat the same, motors are on the same side you know, pinion or sorry, servo is. Um the servos are turned different ways as you see right there. Um but the receiver box is behind here on the Vorza where it's on the left here on the door tracks. Um the motors, like I said, they're both twenty two hundred KVs, but the castle motor is stronger, a lot more power, a lot more torque in it. Um and the magnets are stronger. You can even fill it. Whereas the Duratrax is not, but it still ran well. The Duratrax one is waterproof, 
the this one for this um, Vorza is not waterproof. Um, so give or take on that. There's a huge price difference as well. The Vorza is like six forty nine, where the Duratrax is three ninety nine, and you can do some Tower Hobbies discounts and promotions, get about forty bucks off or so. And I believe for a limited time, Duratrax is also giving you a forty dollar coupon to buy parts and stuff with. So that's also really good. So in a nutshell, between these two buggies, I like the Duratrax better. And I like it because of the price point of it. It's a lot cheaper. It is waterproof. Um, and it did handle better. Um, it's not as fast as far as if you put a 6S LiPo and compare it to the 4S LiPo. And it's if you try to max out both cars because this can not handle a 6S. But running both of these on 4S, this one was faster. The Duratrax was faster. And you guys can check the videos out with that as well. Um, so it's going to be flipping a coin, but it's for me right now, it's going to be sticking with the Duratrax. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment down below and also rate and subscribe. Thanks.